So one of the great things about painting is you get to play with different feelings and moods and lightscapes and landscapes and things. But what I'm going to do here is show you how altering just a couple of little things can completely change the mood of an image. So what I've done here is you've just smashed out like a, a summery treescape <laughs> in the middle of a paddock and I'm just going to change one little thing and we'll see how dramatically that shifts the, the feeling of the painting and the story about the painting um, and it's really just a simple trick and it changes the focus completely. So I'm going to change the mood of this picture. I'm going to create the illusion of a storm maybe sweeping across in the background. Tree's still going to be in the foreground and, and brightly lit, but everything in the background is going to be subdued. So I'm going to get some um, uh, free flow and I'll use black and white and a little bit of French ultramarine to kill the, the deadness of the, the black. Um, and we'll create that storm looming in the background. So I've got a nice dark color here. I want to create the impression of kind of ominous low clouds in the background. We'll get those hills later. That storm's going to sweep in from the southwest. So I've added some French ultramarine blue and a little bit of cad yellow medium to it. Now I'm just going to add a tiny bit of white to that. Just to give the clouds a bit of volume. Just gonna come back in with my greys. And again, add a bit more white. But this time I'm going to add a tiny bit of yellow to it to sort of suggest that the clouds are maybe coming out from under the shadow of the storm and that there's a bit more light. And we'll throw a bit of pure white up in here and see what happens. So what we've done here is we've we pulled the the focus by putting that darker background we've created them uh, changed the mood completely so it's become kind of slightly ominous and there's this weight to the painting that it didn't have before but what i want to do now is so we've left the hills there what i'm going to do is actually add some of this gray to these hills and and kind of pull the picture forward uh, even more so that all the focus is in on the tree so i've added some black to that now i don't usually use black <laughs> And there's a whole heap of people I'm, I've roused on for using black in the past. So I can hear you all now. But we're just playing. So I'm gradually bringing that weight of the clouds forward and pulling the focus more into the tree. And just start bringing that shadow forward. Now you'll notice that as I get further into the football as I go into the background there all that stuff in the background becomes 
less distinct and and I can't be bothered mixing up that grass colour so I'm just adding some water to that and softening that edge out. So what we did was we created something with that lovely summer background and what I've done is I made the painting a little more oppressive and changed the mood completely. But there's something else I can do. I can kind of home the focus in a little bit more just by um, allowing the whole, being very specific about where all the highlights are. So I'll just do that now. One of the lovely things about when you do get those lovely greys and storms and things like that, all of the the range of colours diminishes. You get you know sort of more into the greys and the tone. There's more of a tonal shift than a shift in hue. A hue will shift. <laughs> but you know sometimes you know the grey allows all those other colours to pop. And in fact, these greys and these darker colours that I'm putting in here now kind of are allowing this tree to stand out so I'm just dragging a dry brush there and because this is all a bit wet it's probably a bit hard to see but just that dry brush there oops I can start getting into it more Bang up some more highlights here and there like that. The tree is starting to now become much more focused and all we've really done is a couple of gradations of color here and there but it's changed the mood completely. So if you imagine, for example, you know, that background and a stormy sea with a tree silhouetted and, or sorry, not silhouetted, but high lit, for example, or a lone farmer standing in the middle of a field with all those greys, or, you know, even a chair sitting in the middle of a paddock with all those greys and the light high lit on the chair. All of a sudden there's this really interesting story. And those lovely kind of dead tones in the background create the space for all those brighter tones in the foreground to really kind of pop out. So I'm just going to whack a few more highlights on the edge of this tree just to kind of push the illusion out a little bit more. You can see how much fun this is, you know, you really get to play with light and really get to play with dimension and mess with people's feelings. <laughs> So normally my paintings are quite bright, but I've really been investigating a lot more um, images with a lot of kind of tone and a bit more mood and, and you know, sort of using more somber colors to kind of align with my tragic angst ridden personality. <laughs> but um, what I'll be doing, or eventually what we'll do is we'll put together a tutorial in the not too distant future. So as I go through this, I find out all these lovely little shiny bits that I really like to share. So. We'll, we'll collate all of them into some semblance of order and uh, there'll be a tutorial coming soon. Watch this space. Mm -hmm.